Welcome to The Modern Ham, where we are connected in new old ways. Today I want to give my thoughts on the Baofeng DM1701 and talk about how it changed my opinion of DMR, so stay tuned. So I bought two of these Baofeng DM1701s off of AliExpress for about $45, which I think is a pretty good deal for a DMR radio. I bought them initially with the intent to use M17 on them with a special open firmware called OpenRTX, but I found out that the Baofeng 1801 is the one that would support that, not the 1701. Oh, so here I am, I was stuck with two radios and I am not a DMR user and I thought, okay, well, I guess this is an opportunity to learn DMR. Now these radios shipped with OpenGD77, which is a open source firmware that will go on the Baofeng 1701 and other radios. My thoughts today are going to assume you're running that firmware because that is the experience that I've had with it. Now I will provide a link to the uh, where I bought the radio in the description, but if you buy it on Amazon, more than likely you're going to get the official firmware. So right off the bat, uh, when I spent $45 on these radios, these DMR radios, I did not um, I did not assume I would get a lot of quality in those radios. And so when I got them, I was actually surprised to see that they actually feel really good in the hand. I, I welcome the change in kind of the bigger radio compared to the smaller form factors we've been getting recently. And just a first impression of the radio itself, I like the material that it was built with. The knobs actually feel really responsive. Uh, they don't feel like I can hit them and accidentally mess with them too much. Looking at specifications, it looks like it's advertised to hold 120,000 DMR contacts and 10,000 talk groups. But with the uh, OpenGD firmware, I was actually, I think, able to load much more contacts than that. I think I actually loaded the entire DMR database onto this radio. So I could be mistaken there, but maybe the firmware change allowed me to do that. But I think the amount of memory that these come with, 10,000 talk groups are way more than anyone would ever want to use. So I want to preface this off by saying also I am not a DMR person. I actually had no DMR experience before I got this radio. And so I was a little nervous going into the menus of this experimental firmware to try to program DMR, but I quickly found that it was actually really intuitive. And I'm going to be making a video on how to program this radio. But I was able to actually plug in all of the talk groups that I needed, the contacts, the channels, and the time slots and repeaters on both digital and FM from the front face of this radio before I even receive my programming cable. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the radio itself. So this is the radio, uh, a good front face. Here's the side, you have your push to talk key and a couple of extra keys here that I think you can rebind in software. The radio comes with, I think a 22 milliamp, let's see if I can get the camera to focus here. A 22 milliamp battery, so not the biggest battery, but I've ran this for several days and I haven't had to charge it. Uh, turning it on is as simple as just turning the volume, of course. And I've actually loaded a custom theme up here, so that's why the colors may look different if you have one. The front panel, these are all green LEDs, so they light up in the dark. And the menu can uh, you know, just be upset, accessed with, as any other radio, you can use the front facing buttons. Using the dial up here, changes the channel, just like any other radio, and I have the volume knob here. All around, the, the construction feels pretty sturdy. I, I like the build. Uh, the, the panel for the headset is a little bit different from a traditional Baofeng. I actually like this more, but you just pull this down and you put your connectors in there just like that. The only gripe I have about this radio is actually just the charger. So whenever you don't have the radio plugged in, it does this annoying flashing red and green light thing. And for me, who may have this on my desk all the time, I like it dark in my room, to have this flashing all of the time when there's no radio plugged in, it's kind of obnoxious, uh, as well as the fact that the power cord comes in through the top and comes down into the cradle instead of coming in through the back. Now this obviously changes whenever you put your radio in to charge. It will turn red for charging and green when it's finished. But just one of my little quirks, I'm gonna actually take this thing apart and uh, or put something over that so I don't have to watch it anymore. But if I had any gripe with this radio, that would be what it is. All in all, I was just really impressed with this radio. 
considering I only paid $45 for it and it was able to get me into DMR, not scare me away from the programming interface. I just wanted to make a video and say, hey, uh, if you're looking to get into DMR, um, don't listen to people saying don't get a cheap radio. If you don't have that much money, um, then this radio is completely acceptable. In fact, this radio might become one of my, probably my daily driver for digital uh, modes. This will probably stay on my reflector most of the time and now I'm actually able to hit repeaters, DMR repeaters in my state that are you know, tens of 20 miles away uh, from this radio. I've tested it and despite not being into DMR before, I'm actually uh, starting to think I might be a DMR person. I like the way that it works. I like the audio. I like the way it sounds to the ears. I don't, uh, I like the fact that I don't have to listen to radio static. And I also like the fact that two people can be talking on the same repeater at the same time. But yeah, this has actually turned me into a DMR person. I like this radio. And for $45, I think it's a steal. So if you've been on the fence about buying it, uh, you know, I bought two of these radios myself. I wasn't sent them for free. I'm just making this review out of my own free will. Uh, it's a great radio. What can I say? There's nothing more to it. The only stipulation is I have the OpenGD firmware on here. I don't know if that changes my experience much compared to the original firmware, but with your programming cable, you can load different firmware on here. I'll probably make a tutorial for that in the future. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this radio some, and uh, that's really it. I want to give a shout out to my channel members. I'll put them on the screen here. Thank you all so much for being members of the channel, and 73 to you.